What's up mga kainhinyero? On this video ay magsusol tayo ng isang force system using the polygon method. With a given resultant force and a known magnitude and direction of a given force. The problem is if the magnitude of the resultant force is to be 500 newton directly along the positive y-axis, determine the magnitude of the force F and its direction theta. Sa naon ng video, ang hinanap natin ay yung magnitude and direction ng resultant force. But on this video, ay given yung magnitude and direction ng resultant force. Ang sabi sa problem, yung resultant force daw is directly along the positive y-axis. I-denote natin na FR yung resultant force with a given magnitude na 500 newton. Step number 1. Join the head of the first vector with the tail of the second vector. Since given yung magnitude and direction ng force na 700 newton, dito tayo mag-start. Mula daw sa head ng first vector na drawing natin, ay iduktong natin yung tail ng second vector na ilalagay natin. Mula sa positive x-axis, yung force F ay merong angle na theta. Yung unknown na force F, kapag drawing natin, kailangan yung head niyan ay mag-end directly along sa may y-axis. Kasi, pagkukunikin natin yung tail ng first vector at yung head ng second vector. At dapat, yung closing line na magagawa natin is vertical because the closing line is the resultant force. And the resultant force as given in the problem is directly along the positive y-axis. Step number 2. The resultant vector is obtained by joining the tail of the first vector and the head of the last vector. Yun yung reason kung bakit dapat yung force F ay mag-end along sa may y-axis. And this closing line is the resultant force. I-denote natin to na FR. FR as given in the problem is 500 newton. These lines are perpendicular. Kapag perpendicular lines, meron tayong angle na 90 degrees. I-denote natin yung interior angle na to ng triangle as beta. As we can see, beta is equal to 15 degrees plus 90 degrees. And the value of beta is 105 degrees. Na-discuss na din natin sa naon ng video yung concept ng cosine law. Using the concept of cosine law, Para masolve natin yung value ng force F, force F is equal to the square root of 700 squared plus 500 squared minus 2 times 700 multiplied by 500 times cosine the angle opposite to force F, which is angle beta. And the value of angle beta is 105 degrees. Force F, as we calculated, is equal to 959.78 newton. Yung angle ng 700 newton force is 15 degrees from the horizontal axis. Kung titingnan natin sa side na to, this angle is equal to 15 degrees. I-denote natin yung interior angle na to ng triangle as alpha. Para masolve yung hinahanap natin sa problem na theta, that was equal to alpha plus 15 degrees. So, kailangan natin muna isolve yung value ng alpha. Using the concept of sine law, 
yung 500 newton na side ng triangle over sine of its opposite angle which is alpha is equal 959.78 newton side of the triangle over sine of the angle which is opposite to the force na 959.78 which is angle beta and that was 105 degrees cross multiply sine alpha is equal to 500 sine 105 degrees over 959.78 nalimutan yung alpha alpha is equal to arc sine of 500 sine 105 degrees over 959.78 and the value of alpha by computation is equal to 30.21 degrees masosold na natin yung value ng angle theta alpha is 30.21 plus 15 degrees and theta is equal to 45.21 degrees and the magnitude of the unknown force F is equal to 959.78 newton with angle theta of 45.21 degrees